everybody in the industry has been talking about fuel cell and it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah. And the reason that we're showing this is it's here. Here we have 21st century electrochemistry replacing nasty, dirty 20th century technology where you burn stuff. We were asked to respond, I suppose, to the idea of water coming out the back of the car. And well, the first time we saw that, I can only tell anyone who hasn't seen it before, it's absolutely amazing. We took the idea of that water and combined it with aquaponics. Aquaponics is the growing of fish and um, vegetables um, in water. Water vapour is produced when the car's running. And that water vapour is condensed um, and then passed through a filter um, into the fish tanks. And those fish tanks hold fish that we could eat. Um, we've actually got a, a variety of carp here. A carp produce um, nutrients when they're fed and those nutrients feed the plants. So what we've got is, is, is a living system. We're very pleased today to support this very vivid, I think an exciting illustration of exactly what the fuel cell can achieve. Not to, just in terms of propulsion, but in terms of cleanliness. This is a fantastic new technology which is incredibly clean and for a city which is trying hard to improve its emissions, um, it holds out huge promise. This is a very much a chicken and egg situation with regards to infrastructure. So do you wait for the infrastructure to be built or do you build the cars first? Yeah. And that's the, the dilemma that the industry has had. So we've said, I'll tell you what, we'll build the cars first. So we've got a thousand going between now and the end of 2015. By 2030, there'll be 300,000 sold per year. 20% you know, of the entire market is going to be fuel cells, building up to 50% of the market by 2050. The main challenge for us now is to refine the technology we have and start to reduce the cost. So it is a case of taking out the precious metals or lowering that content whilst not affecting any of the efficiencies of the fuel cell. The world is waking up to the power of the fuel cell. We take our hat off to, to Hyundai, who've been, I have to say, particularly brave and on the front foot compared to a lot of the other manufacturers. Uh, you know, they're out there in a big way, and that's part of the reason, I guess, why Hyundai is very much seen in the motor industry as a kind of challenger company. Mm -hmm.